has that 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 smoky taste and is always tender and good. People, they're, they're really fanatics about it. You've got a lot of people that really uh, take their barbecue serious, more so than seafood or steak or anything else, really. Now, some people they make the claim that they make good barbecue, and they're the best in the land, but I'm afraid to lie. Barbecue in itself is something that's it's almost a, that's a religion. Barbecue restaurants, I think, usually kind of get a following. You know, it's just a good, fun place to come, so that kind of keeps us coming back. A little bit of dab of this, a little dab of that, a little beer, a little, little sugar, a little... We spent a lot of years in the kitchen using spices that were incompatible and sauces that smelled, uh, smelled up the whole kitchen and uh, it's really a science. There's a lot of trial and error involved, no doubt. I don't really want to tell anybody, you know, period, about how I do things, you know. If I do, I'll be out of business. The food tastes good. You know, and if you build it, they'll come. Well, I'm Don McClellan. I'm the mayor of Alexander City, Alabama. We invite everybody to come to Show Enough Barbecue in Alex City. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I believe it's the best barbecue in the state. Bill West, mayor of Winfield. I'd like to welcome everyone to Winfield and the Boar's Butt. Uh, come to the Boar's Butt and eat and also shop in Winfield. People come from everywhere talking about the pork chop sandwich. and We've had people from overseas, out of town, everywhere. I just talk about, you know, if I ever get to Phoenix City, I have to try that. It's not like a hamburger patty, you know, it's, it's not available, it's not available. It just takes a little time to cook it and, and, and again, it's just, just a lot more, a longer, harder process than any other, any other item in the food business, I assume. To me, running a barbecue restaurant is, I think it's easy. Uh, and maybe that's because I love what I do. I don't think of what I do as a job. Uh, it's a business, of course, and it's how I make my living. But I still don't think of it as a job. I love to come to work every day.